Hi, I'm Collier Spring with the Avid Pro Audio team, and I'm here to introduce you to the new Avid Pro Tools S3 in this series of videos. Let's dive in, shall we? This episode is about using S3 with the Artist Transport. First of all, why would I want to add the transport to my setup? The transport has dedicated assignable transport control switches that are user assignable to your preferences. It has a separate jog and shuttle wheel ring that can be assigned user functions like navigation, zooming, clip gain, as well as scrub shuttle. It has a numeric keypad for direct time code or bars beats entry, memory location access, and user assignable functions. It also has assignable soft keys that are user assignable to any DAW function or multi-stroke key macro. To add an artist transport to your setup, just add it to your U-Control network switch or router and plug in the power supply. If you're using the S3 in AVB mode, you'll need to use an AVB compliant switch. If not using AVB, most any simple gigabit switch will work. As always, your workstation network settings should be in DHCP automatic mode. Let's assign some commands and macros to the switches on Artist Transport. First, to see what's already assigned, hold the I key and touch a switch. This will bring up the U-Control application, and by touching each switch, it'll show you what function that selected switch has assigned, including the second or the shift layer. Let's assign a locate function, say back and play, to a soft key on the transport. First, in the U-Control application, select the soft key to be assigned and press the clear button. Then, press the command button to assign a single or multiple commands to that soft key. Once into the command menu, add a function, whether it's a Yukon, keystroke, or an MC function, or even a wheel function. Back and play is a locate function, so select Yukon, transport, locate, now back and play. Close the command menu window, and now I can change the font, add an icon, and change the color of the display of the soft key in U-Control. I'll make it green with my favorite graffiti font. Now, when I flip back to Pro Tools and hit that soft key, I get the back and play function at my fingertips. Now, let's assign a wheel function to a soft key. Select the soft key, clear it, and go into the command menu. Add a wheel function, select jog, and select custom, choosing clip gain. Close the window, rename it, choose my font and color, save it, a fairly important task at this point, and switch back to Pro Tools to try it out. Now, when I have a clip selected, I can press the soft key for clip gain wheel and have half dB step control with the jog wheel. Assigning functions to the soft keys and wheel buttons are done using the exact same process. Hitting the save button on the U-Control application saves your soft key setups and session layouts. The layouts are session specific, but the soft keys are global. So when you open an old session, you'll get your session specific layouts back if you made any, and your soft key assignments will follow from session to session. Save early, save often. Adding a transport to your S3 U-Control setup is simple, powerful, and user assignable. Having a weighted jog shuttle wheel, assignable soft keys, and wheel functions can make your sessions much smoother, faster, and more precise. Which do you need more of in your workflow? Be sure to see all the videos in this series on the Avid Pro Tools S3 and read the S3 and Transport User Guides.